Hey guys, I just got to Dubai. And I'm gonna meet up with her and attend an art exhibition called Design Days. It happens every year. Really nice. I'll show it to you in a bit. Hey man, how are you? What's up, man? How's it going? Yeah. At this point, 
they are not stuck together, but they will be. Um, the concept is about being stuck, actually, because the solo show was uh, stuck. Being yeah. Stuck. So they were done so separately. Yeah. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
tell me about the construction. Uh, yes, this installation is called uh, Inao. This is designed by a uh, Japanese designer, Hideki Yoshimoto and Yoshinoko Ono. And uh, this is a piece that celebrates in the nature, especially because they are inspired by the rice field. And uh, the specificity is really that in the base of that piece you have some sensors that detect all movement in front of it. So when you walk in front of the, the piece, then it will start to move slowly and to light. And more you have movement, more it will move like a wind uh, in a field of uh, wheat or nice. like in a rice field. Awesome. It's also beautiful when you have a darker room because the reflection of the light is a little bit like the water in which the oh, rice yeah. grows. So it's very uh, mesmerizing. It's really cool. Awesome. So when there is no any movement, it stops. It stops. Yeah, yeah. It stays still without light. But today, as we have a lot of yeah. people <laughs> in front, it almost never stops. Yes. Ah. Yeah, love it. It's very uh, nature inspired. Yeah, it's very nature inspired. inspired. But uh, often, when you have a mix between high technology and um, poetry, this is always Japanese. So they really work on that sobriety, poetry, the mix of it. You have a lot of technology also in the um, production of it because the top is laser cut, it's a brass laser cut. You also have lead technology and uh, the stem is in a carbon fiber. You have a soft software inside. And this stem is carbon it fiber, it's made of carbon fiber. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Um, what about that rope, that one? The rope, um, the rope is made by uh, Christian Haas, this is a German designer. Yeah. And the idea is really simple, you always work uh, with a lot of sobriety also. Um, you have a mix between a regular nylon rope and a lead, flexible lead inside the rope. It is to equilibrate the shadow and the light of every day. Awesome. awesome. This is beautiful Love in it. a dark room also because the light is a bit like a cheminée that yeah. um, stops. It's very uh, peaceful also. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. See you soon. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Fresh, this is a fresh gallery and uh, it's, it's everything you see is designed by two local designers and they want to take the first collection to appreciate uh, the culture and nature of the Yeah. For example, you see this bench to start with and you're a little bit confused. But it's 1971, mm. it's the number, it's when, when the, the seven emirates became one. Oh, so that's okay. why it's appreciated. Here is an abstract of uh, the desert of the UAE with a detailed version so you can have the texture for yourself. The mirror idea is to see yourself there and uh, have the, these feelings to wanting to return back every time. For those tables, those are personally my favorite. And uh, they represent the ocean and the saturated ocean of the UAE with the pastel skies and the desert again. Uh, you see there's an architectural line of steel, but uh, there is marble, so it's a natural material. Those are all marble pieces. And behind the glass, this is a uh, wall painting by the same designer. Here? Yeah, it's a wall painting by the same designer, so it's like a continuous line. Yeah. And uh, this piece right here is bizarre. It's got to but the daddy daughter is hidden on it. They used to dip their fingers in hidden and have yes. a circle. This is true. So this is an abstract way of... Yes. Uh, this presents the art. present and this is the past. So they're connected. Oh, okay. And this is an actual table lamp that you can be turned on like under a better circle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, this is a way, a technique of painting on marble that has been done by the designer and they're all sold right now. 
but oh. we keep them for the exhibition. So uh, it represents the heritage buildings of the UAE, the old buildings, ports. Yeah. Yeah. So basically that's So I noticed you also have a GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just the waitress. So. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Too. Thank you. Hello. So hi Mr. Ghadi. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Have a good day? Yeah. Well, awesome. Uh, so would you take us on a tour here? Yes. Tell us what's going on. Okay, so uh, what you'll see here we are an uh, international lighting supplier called uh, Zuntum and Lighting. What we have here is what we call the collection of, of masterpieces in collaboration between Zuntobel and Sawaya Moroni in, in Italy. The masterpieces is the collaboration between uh, us and international artists or international architects. What we're seeing here is a piece by uh, Zaha Hadid. Yeah. She's an international architect, she's very well known. But this is a collectible item, so she's only created 25 pieces of them. She's sold 14 so far and uh, the rest is still up for grabs. Uh, the, the concept here is that you have a combination of it's a typical Zaha Hadid design, you have a symbiosis of light and, and shadows. You can control the light, you can control the kind of effects that you get uh, out of it. And you have the version that we have here is white, as we have another version which is uh, black only. The furniture is also created by, uh, by Zaha Hadid. This is exclusively via Sawaya Moroni. The second masterpiece, this one is called uh, Starbrick. Starbrick is created, uh, he's a Danish uh, light artist. So he creates installations of art, they're not really commercial. This is the first commercial item that he's created with us. You have the simple, uh, the simple block over there, but you can actually create any uh, chandelier or any kind of installation. And this is more of an art installation than Of course, we're a lighting company, so uh, experiment on the effect of light and shadows on people. This is the idea. And then the third masterpiece. This one is called the uh, LQ by Hani Rashid. He's the designer. Hani Rashid is, is also an Arabic designer, but he has this architectural practice in New York called Asam Oh. And the concept here is that this is his modern representation of the candela room. But we called it LQ for Nui Kapoors, so the, the, the French thing. But it's, it's, a, it's also a representation of his ground. Uh, the idea here is very similar to Starbuck. You have the simple uh, single block, but you can do any formation in the single block. This uh, installation is called LQP, P for LQ. pyramid. Yes. And if you, if you look, and if you don't necessarily see the light sources, yeah. but you see a lot of reflections. So this is aluminum coated plastic, but because of the way it is designed, the execution, you see a lot of light reflection, but you don't see the light sources. As a company, as Zoomtober, we are present in the Middle East now for a couple of years. We have an application center here, so people can come and interact with us, you know, designers, architects, lighting designers. Uh, if they need any support on lighting, because we do also commercial and architectural lighting as well as the masterpieces. Mm. Thank you so much. Most welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm 
من الديزاين الى شوف الاشكال اللي بينهم نعم اللي تطلع ابستراكت هالاشكال عشان يعني الديزاين فكرته انه يطلع الاسلامك اسلامك شيبس about the art of nature and the art of man and how these two forces interact using wood as the primary material of creation. Mm -hmm. The oyster seats here are made of walnut wood with mother of pearl accents on the ends and the legs are made of mother of pearl as well using makatri and every piece was placed by hand and polished as well. The spikes here were also placed by hand. The idea of the piece is he wants to represent the chaos that's happening between nature and man. So nature is of course beautiful and man is creating things in nature that are also beautiful but at the same time harming the environment. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. The next piece over. We have here the Abyss Table by Christopher Duffy of Duffy London. And the idea for this piece came about. He was experimenting in his workshop and he noticed when he had us stack of layered glass that there was this gradation of color and this inspired him with the idea of the abyss, this chasm, this hole, this deep nothingness that has no end. In his workshop with his team they experimented with different materials for approximately one year and they finally settled on simple layers of wood and glass layered like this very thinly to create the overall effect to give the idea of a geographical cross-section of the sea also fits well with the city's theme, again showing a different appreciation of nature, trying to expose the secrets of nature, so many things that we don't know about. Yes, it's gorgeous, it's getting a lot of attention. On the end here, this is the Millennial Console by Maximo Riera. He's an artist from Spain, and the wood in this piece comes from the millennial olive trees. He found these lifeless trees out in the forest and sourced them whole. Um, he's got a collection of millennial consoles. He finds a tree, and one tree can create two to three consoles, so he takes the tree and he cuts it into pieces, and then he has to let the sap dry, uh, the sap drain out, and the tree has to dry, and then he polishes it to show the natural beauty of the wood, to depict the contrast between the beauty of nature and man, he then balances on this man-made metallic structure. Um, what's interesting about this piece, he says that of course trees representing nature are beautiful yeah. while they're living, uh, they have one purpose, and then when they die, they have another purpose as well, while maintaining beauty. Inspiration. Okay. Yes, yes. And this piece is unique. He has many in the collection, but each one is different. Yeah. Okay.
chairs here in the front. This is mauve ostrich leather and the one behind you is black python snake skin. And as you can see from the triangular shape, the creators were inspired by billiards. The triangle that you place the balls okay. in when you play billiards. Oh, okay. And if you remove the cushion, it's just this repeating shape again and again forms yeah. the, the seat of the chair. To represent this concept, he also created a fourth chair out of the felt from the billiard table. c'est que des artistes français et moi je développe du mobilier en métal, le mobilier de la haute couture, vraiment essayer de faire des choses de très très haut de gamme. Donc euh, on est exposé chez Dior, à Hong Kong, euh, New York, New York. Euh, hier on leur faisait des bijoux, maintenant on leur fait des meubles. Et, euh, et voilà, le, voilà la démarche. Et là, le, je suis un, aussi un ancien joaillier. Et donc là c'est du cristal de roche et la shooting star. Cristal de roche et euh, c'est un lustre. Voilà. Et là vous avez la l'araignée. That piece, that caught my eyes. Yeah. This is a giant walking chair. Wow. wow. The, name, the name is the conversation. So it's very uh, love, uh, art yes. lover piece. Yes. And, uh, romantic uh, artwork. Nice. Love it. Yeah. This is stainless steel. You can put 
inside or outside? So what can you tell us about this chair? Yeah, I can tell you the designer is Richard Hutton, a Dutch designer. Yes. And the chair is made of woven wool. Yes. After the waving process, the wool has been heated to give the structure for more strength and more sustainability. The separate pieces are all CNC cutted. And after the cutting process, the chair is built up layer by layer. Yes. So the total chair has approximately 545 layers. Wow. And the, uh, the designer used more than 100 colors in the chair. The weight of the chair is approximately 250 kilograms. So very happy, very comfortable. And the designer used uh, as little glue as possible to keep it soft and comfortable. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, how does it stick together? It's stick together with stitches and with glue. Stitches and, stitches and glue. As minimal, as minimal as possible. The parts are also only stitched in little places. Very comfortable here to sit on. Looks like it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks You're a lot. Welcome. Thank you very much. Yes, good enough. Thank you. That's Excellent. Perfect. Thank you so much. So that was it, guys. I hope you liked our first vlog. Don't forget to subscribe. See you. Bye. Bye.